Feeling great to be back here at SVT, Endless Brook Trail. Making our way up Grove Way, gonna hit Porcupine. It's that prime foliage. Uh, maybe not quite peak here, but we're headed up to Stowe, Vermont tomorrow. And uh, pretty sure it's, it's peak up there. About 59 degrees, just optimal riding weather. Crunching leaves. It's just awesome. All right, I'm not gonna bore you with the climb, but we'll see you at the top for a nice two mile descent. All right. All right, so we're back here at the top of Hunker Down. We're gonna hit this top section of Hunker Down and we're gonna roll right into Porcupine. It took, it was 3.8 miles to get from the parking lot down at Lake St. Catherine up to here. So it's a good climb, but it's uh, it's very doable and it's much better than taking the uh, double track. So you ready? All right. Oh, I didn't, that wasn't there last time. Ah, this is awesome with the leaves. Slick though. Oh. We're just gonna deviate. It's a little connector section. It's gonna bring us over to the beginning of Porcupine. It's cool, it's a little adventure. All right, here's the beginning of Porcupine. You wanna go ahead? Say the upper third to a half of the trail. It's sort of an adventure like this, a little bit up and down, mostly down. And there's one section where you actually do have to climb for. I don't know, maybe 30 seconds. Guess we'll find out. Whoa, yeah. those leaves are slick. Ah, there we go. These Maxxis Recon tires and these leaves are not all that great together. Keep losing traction. Passing by the lookout from Porcupine. All right, little climbing section.
I don't think I mentioned last time I was on my short travel trance and I sold that and now I'm on a Ripmo AF and it is awesome. I love this bike. All right, let's see into the climbing section. Should be all downhill from here. Hey, high line. Some nice long sections coming up. Yeah. Haven't pedaled in a while. There we go. Oh. Getting gelled up. There it goes. I'm telling you, these trails here are great. This one really makes me think of like mountain biking. It's just such a twisty, turny up, down. Rocks, trees, bumps, good stuff.
Nice little opening up. Oh, I almost lost it there too. Yeah, that's beautiful. Nice. Man down. Ah. 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 Should have left that ass of guy on the front. You know what? That's dumb. I was going to bring my knee pads and I didn't. Oh, you hit your knee? Yeah, yeah, my elbow. On the tree? No, nah, just on this gravel stuff. Twisted my bars. Wow. You can ride like that, can't you? Yeah. Looks great. <laughs> yeah. Two spills in the leaves. Yeah, that's what it was too. I'm s totally. Yeah, mine that was a bad move taking the ass of guys off. No, I'm loosening that up. All right. A couple scrapes. Probably bruises coming. But for now, I'm still in riding condition. I think these leaves are slick. I usually wear knee pads and I didn't wear them tonight. And there you go. Yep, there again. I was gonna leave my ass guy on the front for this trip, decided not to, and that was a mistake. Would have really came in handy. Hold on, got a flat now. What? Yeah. Yeah, shoot, things are getting ugly here. Are you kidding me? I got a half inch gash in my tire. Yeah. And I didn't bring my other wheels and tires. Look at that. What the heck? Looks like we're going on that hike tomorrow. Uh, Where's the gas? Right here, it's a big one. I mean, I can throw a tube. I have a tube Jesus. in the van, but... How? <sighs> I think I just did it, too. I don't think it was from when I fell. Well, you probably just want to take in the rest of the road. Yeah, I'm going to have to walk it. We're pretty much almost to the bottom. You want to wear this down? Sure. All right, pause. Handing over the rain, <laughs> handing over the reins to Angelo. 
he's gonna take you the rest of the way down porcupine i fell and then two minutes later got a big gash in my top all right you're on see you at the bottom don't crash peace let me give you a head start Pretty new, pretty new. So I'm walking down Angelo's um, on Porcupine. We're gonna show that video. I got my flat here, which sucks, but this goes with what I was saying. If you see up here, you probably can't see it all that well. Maybe I'll switch this around and show you, but this will go to show you how they're working on these trails here. So check that out. This, this at the bottom of this trail, it's closed off right now. It's got little red flags and it says, you know, do not use or whatever. So they're building this currently. What it looks like is a nice flow line with some little mini gaps and doubles, whatever you want to call them. It's a nice stretch right here. I don't know if you can get that. It's just up and down, up and down, up and down, hitting little gap jumps. So that's what I'm saying about Slate Valley Trails. These, I don't know who they are or who's behind all this, but they're doing so much trail building up here. It's awesome. I saw a little mini excavator down at the bottom uh, when we were on our way up and it's one of those really small ones so i'm sure they're using that to do some of these flow trails and these jumps but this trail looks like it's going to be sick got nice um descent so it's a good elevation drop here and there's just nice jumps look at this thing so boom you're coming down you can't really see it all that well but you can gap from here to i don't know eight or ten feet and then you're just hitting roller after roller little gaps but yeah cool hopefully next time we're up this trail's done and we'll definitely show it to you so stay tuned